Hello, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Please ensure to like, share, and subscribe. And also click the bell notification in the top right hand corner to be made aware anytime I upload tutorials or videos to YouTube. All right, let's craft together. All right, guys. So today I am going to be showing you in Microsoft PowerPoint, I'm going to be showing you how to design again the liquor bottle um, greeting card for Valentine's Day. Now, this one is going to be a little bit for the grown and sexy. So, if you're a little bit squeamish about that type of thing, then go look at some of my other videos. I've got a lot of them out there. It's about 296, maybe. All right, but if you want some ideas for a sexy liquor bottle type greeting card that you can give male or female for Valentine's Day, let's get started. All right, so here we are <clears throat> in Microsoft PowerPoint. So we're going to, when you come into Microsoft PowerPoint, normally you're gonna see a slide like this because most people use Microsoft PowerPoint for presentations and things like that, but you can use it for designing as well, okay? So the first thing I would do when I come into Microsoft PowerPoint is I want to change my slide size, okay? So I'm going to go to the menu and I'm going to select design. And I'm going to come over to where to the right where it says slide size. I'm going to click on that little drop down arrow and I'm going to select custom slide size. And I'm going to change the width to 8.5. And I'm going to change the height to 11. Okay, so we have an eight and a half by 11, and the orientation should say portrait. Okay, when you hit OK, you're going to get this Microsoft PowerPoint little window here asking you, do you want to maximize or ensure fit? And I want you to select ensure fit on the right. Okay, and this is what your slide should look like. Now, we want to get rid of this click to add, click to add subtitle, but we're not going to click it and delete it. Okay, what we're going to do is go back to the slide on the left and we're going to right click and say layout and you're going to come down to where it says blank and that's going to give you a blank slide in PowerPoint. Okay, now what we want to do is we now want to get our wine bottle or liquor bottle that we want to play around with. Okay, so I used this one before and I kind of designed it out a little bit for myself that I really like. So I'm going to share it with you guys. Okay. So to insert a picture in Microsoft PowerPoint, we're going to go to insert picture and we're going to select online pictures. And you're going to get this screen and you have a little search window here or search field. You're going to type in wine bottle. And go ahead and enter on your keyboard. Now you're initially going to get photographic images, okay? But we want clip art. So we're going to click this little filter right here next to um, Creative Commons only, okay? So we're going to click this little filter. And we're going to select from the list, we're going to select clip art. And it's going to give us all of this clip art out here, okay? Now this clip art, when you insert it, it's going to tell you who the creator of that clip art was. Um, I'm just going to remove that because I'm using some free clip art here. So um, I'm not worried about, I'm just doing this for graphic purposes. So I'm not going to be um, worried about commercial licenses and stuff like that. All right. But look at all these different bottles you can play around with, guys. Okay. So I'm going to select this one because I've fallen in love with it, even though I thought it was a bit of a challenge at first, but I really like it. So I'm going to select this one and choose insert. Now you can select more than one, kind of like in Cricut Design Space, when you click on an image, you can select more than one image. You can do the same thing here in PowerPoint, but I'm only going to select one. So I'm going to select insert and it's going to place that wine bottle on my screen. Now it looks more like a, a wine ceramic type bottle um, without the top, but we're going to, we're going to kind of, you know, dress it up a little bit. Okay. 
So don't worry about the color. I'm gonna focus on the red one right now, but I'm gonna show you how you can change that, okay? So what we're gonna do when that image comes in, we are going to go up to, um, we wanna select the image and that's gonna give us access to the picture format, okay? And we're gonna come over to the right and select crop. And then you have these um, eight little black um, lines. So you have one in the left corner, one in the middle, one on the right, one in the center on the right, one in the middle on the right, um, on the bottom right, middle bottom, left um, bottom, and then left middle, okay? So when you're using crop, you want to be on those. And when you click on those, you're gonna notice it's gonna take on the shape. It goes from that little um, four arrow to the shape of the little dash that you're selecting, okay? So I'm gonna click this one on the middle left and I'm gonna drag it over to the right. And what I'm doing is cropping out all the other bottles. I'm gonna do the same thing with the middle right. I'm gonna bring it over and don't go too far. You only wanna crop out the extra space and the extra bottles. And that looks really good. It's gonna show you what you have left and all of these that turn black are cropped out. And you just wanna click somewhere in the white space. And now you have your wine bottle that we're gonna practice with, okay? Now, the next thing you wanna do is we wanna change the size and we're gonna design out the first bottle and then we'll add our second bottle, so on and so forth. So we're gonna start here. So what I want you to do now is I want you to right click on the image and select a format picture. And the reason I said format picture is, is because it's gonna give you access to these four little icons here on the right, right up under format picture. And I want you to click the third little icon there under format picture and choose size and properties, okay? And what we're gonna do is change the size of this, okay? So click on size. And then the first thing I want you to do is to deselect the lock proportions and relative to original picture use we're going, our uh, picture size, we're gonna deselect those two options. And then for the height, we're gonna put in 11. And for the width, we're gonna put in 4.25. Because we wanna make this large enough to where it fits on one sheet of paper and wide enough where we can have the front and the back of the card, okay? So, um, let's see, we're gonna bring it down just a little bit. Let's go back over to size. And we are going to bring that height down just a little bit. So we're going to click on the down arrow here. Because what we don't want is we don't want to go outside of our little slide here. We want to stay within the white space. Okay. We want to stay within that. And then we're going to drag it over just a little bit to the side. Because we want to make sure we have enough space to get our second one. So I'm just going to check it for us. You don't have to do this part right here. I'm gonna check it for us to see what we're looking like. Okay, so I'm gonna shift it in just a tad. So we're gonna go back to our size and position and let's change our width now. We're gonna change it just a little bit. We're gonna click that drop down arrow one time or the width. And so I have it now at a height of 10.9 by four by four. Okay. And I think that should be good. All right, so the first thing I wanna do is I wanna get some kind of top on here to make this look more like a wine bottle instead of some type of ceramic art. So I'm gonna click on insert and I'm gonna select shape and I'm gonna come down and I'm going to find a shape that's gonna work for me and don't matter about what it says here. This is not gonna matter. We just wanna use something that's gonna help us design this out. So I'm gonna select this flowchart magnetic disc, okay? And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just click and drag that down and over to the right, like that. And then I'm gonna use this bottom one to drag it down a little further. <laughs> so let's scoot it up just a little bit so it is covering the top. 
and we're going to go over to the right because we already have our format shape over here and we're going to do a solid fill. I'm going to change it to black. Okay. All right. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to right click on that shape and I'm going to say copy and then I'm going to click out of it, right click and paste. Okay. And then I'm going to squeeze this in some very thin. And I'm going to now change that color because you have your format shape over here, solid feel. I'm going to change that color to, let's go with um, red. So I'm going to kind of keep it in that kind of red family. And anytime you insert a shape, guys, always make sure that you just, you select line and select no line because otherwise it's going to have a line going across it. Same thing here. That one doesn't have a line, so we're good. And we're going to bring this up to the top here. Kind of make it look more a little bit like a wine bottle. Kind of thin that out a little bit. And you can double it if you so choose. Like that. We're trying to get it more in the shape of, you know, to kind of resemble a wine bottle. All right, so now that we have that, um, the next thing that we want to do is we want to make sure that before we take this and duplicate it, that we group it. So what I'm going to do is just click in the, the gray area and I'm going to highlight the entire thing and it's going to show you that it's everything that's been selected. And then we're going to right click and say group, group. And now, regardless to how you move that, it's one, okay? So <clears throat> at this point, we are ready. And I'm going to go in and I'm going to crop this just a little bit more, only because I see a little space here and here that I don't want. So we're going to go back to, now that we have it sized or we have everything we want here, we're going to go to picture format and we're going to go back to crop. Oh, it's not going to let me crop it now. It just wants me to, sh to shape it out. So let's nix that. All right, so we'll deal with this. So we're going to now go to copy by just um, right-clicking your mouse, copy, and then right-click outside of it and paste. And I didn't get the whole thing. Be better than me, guys. Okay, so we have the whole thing. Copy and paste. There we go. Now, we do not want any space between these two, okay? So you wanna drag it over to the left until they're both touching, just like that. Because this is gonna be the front of the card and this is gonna be the back of your card. So we want them to touch on it when we print this out. All we have to do is fold it in half and then do whatever little bit of cutting that we need to do. And we wanna make sure that they're both the same they're in the same position, okay? All right, that looks pretty good. And they both look like they're inside of that square or that slide for us. Okay, so now we have the front and the back of our card, okay? So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start designing out the front and the back of the card, okay? Um, but before we do that, let's go ahead and we're going to right click, and select duplicate slide okay and we're going to go ahead and get this slide now which is the second slide we're going to go ahead and get this one ready for our inside of our card okay and so what we're going to do we need to take and rotate this so we're going to click in the gray area again we're going to highlight both of them and then we're going to right click and group we want them to both be grouped together so that no matter how we move them, and we don't want to move them at this point, um, that they are going to move together, okay? So we're going to now that we have this selected, um, let's click out. We're going to go to picture format in the menu, and we're going to select rotate over to the far right, right before your crop. We're going to select rotate. And we're going to flip it vertical. Okay. 
and that's going to now give us, I'm going to move it down just a little bit, just so that nothing is going outside. So we'll have to do a little bit of extra cutting on the white space, but make sure that it stays inside. It's just like that because you have the top here is smaller. And when you flip it, now your top is larger. So that's why you have the size difference here. So now this is going to become the inside of our card. Okay. Front of the card, back of the card. And then this is going to be the inside of the card. That's the way you want to think about it. Okay. All right. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to start designing out our graphics that we want to put on our greeting card. Okay. So I want to call this sensual seduction because remember this is for the grown and sexy so we want to keep it you know really nice and get somebody in the mood okay so we're going to go to the menu and select insert and text box and then we're just going to click and drag and i'm going to type in sensual and i'm going to leave it all caps you can you know make yours lowercase, whatever you want, it's your, your green card, okay? So we have sensual, and what we wanna do is just click out of it and then click back on it so that you'll see that it's selected as a whole, okay? And we're gonna go up to this little front area here. Everything we need real relative to the front is gonna be in this little block right here, okay? So first thing I wanna do is I'm gonna change the font and I found this font yesterday that I really like, and it is called Black something, I think. Uh, let me see if I can find it. Blackjack. I like that one. So I'm going to select Blackjack. And then right to the font, right to the right of the font area that I just showed you here, there's this little area that says paragraph, but we're going to be using this to center our text, okay? So you have a left justify, a center or right just, justify, or right align, and then justify. We're going to click on the center, and that's going to put your sensual in the middle. Okay. Now we're going to go back up, and I want to change the sizing of my text. Okay. So I'm just going to click it and go to where I can get it all on one line, just like that. So I'm at a 44, blackjack 44, and I've centered it. So now I'm going to kind of center it on my bottle. And I know that it's centered because you can kind of see, you're going to see like a line here and a line going here. That lets you know that it's centered. If you guys can see it, it's very faint, but it's going across the entire page and down this bottle here. So that lets me know that that is centered. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click, copy, and then paste. And I'm going to bring this down to the bottom about here. And I'm just going to type in now sensual seduction. So now I have sensual and I'm going to type in seduction. Still with my cap locks on. And you guys can change yours if you so like. And then I'm going to move this over to the right because I don't want to change the sizing. So I want the sizing to stay the same, but I want seduction to be on one line. And then I'm going to make sure that that's nice and centered. And it is. All right, so now I have the name of my wine, which is Sensual Seduction. Remember, this is a greeting card for Valentine's Day. Now I want to put down any verbiage that I want on the back of the card, okay? So this time I'm going to go back to the menu and select Insert, Text Box, and then I'm just going to click and drag to the right to get the text box. And I'm going to put, you could put, you know, your name here. If you're making this for someone, you could put your company name, you know, whatever you would normally put on the back of your greeting card when you make those in Cricut Design Space or, you know, wherever you design. Okay. So here I'm going to put um, on the back of my card. Let me see what I put on my pen this morning. All right, so my previous one, I put let's wine in 69, and I thought that was kind of cute. So I'm going to put let's wine in 69, okay? And again, we're going to go back. We're going to center to the right of our front area. We're going to center, and then we're going to go ahead and change that text. I'm sticking with blackjack, 
and actually let me click it let me click the box again because sometimes you have to reselect it there we go and then I'm going to change the sizing I kind of like that and then I'm going to bring it down just a little bit and that's good for me looks let's see that I'm going to get lines when it's centered and my hand is kind of shaking here we go all right so now we have the let's wine in 69 that's going to be on the back of the card sensual seduction is the name of my wine bottle and now I want to insert my graphic okay so to insert my graphic, I'm going to be using a graphic that I actually got from Etsy, and I will put the name of the Etsy shop in the description. So here we have insert, we're going to insert and select picture, this device, and I'm going to be working with this image right here. So I'm going to choose the SVG. It's not going to matter because I'm not cutting anything except for the bottle itself. And then you always want to drag guys from either the top or the top left or right or the bottom left or right, not from the, not from the middle, okay? So I'm just going to shift this down by dragging so that I can get it to a nice little size inside of my sensual seduction. And actually, I'm going to shift my sensual up a little bit just so that I can have more room to insert her to where she's nice and centered there. So now we have our image, we have the name, we have our greeting or whatever we're gonna put on the back. And now I just wanna put like something really cute right here in text. So I'm gonna go back to the menu and select insert text box. And I'm just gonna say sip slowly. Something cute, remember. This is for the grown and sexy for Valentine's. Okay, I'm gonna click out of it and then click back on it. And we're gonna go back again. I'm gonna center. I'm gonna use blackjack. And I think that size 18 is good. So I'm gonna leave that. That is the front and back of our card. Okay, that's the front and back of the card. So we're gonna click in the gray area, highlight everything. And again, we're gonna right click group we're going to group everything together so now it is one okay that is our completed front and back and now we're going to drop down to the inside of the card okay and this time we're going to um, insert the um, little paper that they would you know write something so i'm going to do one on the right and also one on the left. And that way we can put something nice and cute on the left and then they'll have this to, if they wanna put something personal, okay? So we're gonna say insert and this time we're gonna do a shape. And I'm just gonna go with the standard rectangle and you're gonna click and drag to the right. That's gonna give you your shape, okay? So you have to click and drag to get the shape. And remember, um, always check your shapes to make sure that the no line is off because if you don't, you may end up with a line around it and let's say it was on some funky color like that and that's how it's going to print out. So when you see that line around your shape, always go and select the image or the shape and click no line. All right, now I'm going to change the inside of mine. I don't want it to be white. So I'm going to make it kind of the color of the wine bottle, but I'm going to lighten, lighten it up a little bit, okay? So I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to click the color up under our shape format. If you don't have this, all you have to do is right-click and say format shape. And I'm going to click on the color here, and I'm going to select eyedropper, and I'm going to choose the color of the bottle, okay? So you could leave it this color. Um, the only reason I don't highly recommend that you leave it that color is because when the person is writing something, it may be hard to see that black ink on there or you know whatever color ink they're using. Um, so I would say to lighten this up a little bit. So we're gonna use transparency. So we're gonna make it a little bit transparent. Um, let's see, hold on. I'm gonna go with 
the lighter version right here. So I'm going to put my eyedropper in this lighter area. So I'm going to go back to the color and select eyedropper. And I'm going to go here to the lighter area. That'll give us a little bit lighter, but to where, you know, whatever color pen they're using, they'll still be able to see it. So instead of picking it from the darker color of the wine bottle, I'll pick it from the lighter color. And then I'm going to go ahead and click that, right click and copy, and right click and paste. And I'm going to go ahead and put the little insert for, you know, if they want to put something on the other side themselves. And I like to put my image, I like to insert my image on the front and the back. So I'm going to click that image and copy it. And I'm going to paste it. And I use this to twirl my stuff around. But to make it easier, if you're not comfortable with using this to rotate it, um, just go to graphic format and select rotate. And again, you're going to flip vertical. Okay, and then drag from the, the side, the bottom right or left or the top right or left and make it small so it's not taking up all of the card. And we're gonna put her right there. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is insert our verbiage, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click this sensual and you'll know when you have it selected because it'll be it'll have the little dots going all around it. I'm going to select copy and then I'm going to come over to my inside of my card and paste it. And this way I can type whatever I want and then we're going to rotate it because it needs to go in the opposite direction. And I'm also going to make it a little bit smaller, but I'm going to say um, wine me dine me 60 9 me all right and then again shape format rotate and flip vertical because it needs to be going in the opposite direction and i'm just going to move it down okay and you can make this smaller if you like so all you have to do is go to the home now because you want to get back. If you don't, if you're here, you're not going to see your um, front box or front area. So you just want to go back to the home. Okay. And now you have it here and you can make that whatever size you want in your front area. We're going to do that. And then I'm just going to drag it and bring it up. And then you can still put Happy Valentine's Day or, you know, whatever you want to put. Okay, so I'm going to just take a shape that I already have in here that has the text for me. You can insert another one if you like. But all I'm doing is copying and pasting something that I want to use. So I'm just going to say Happy Val Happy Valentine. Happy Valentine wine kind of cute and then we're going to do again we're going to go to shape format we're going to select rotate and flip vertical and that way it's going in the right direction so instead of saying happy valentine i'm just putting happy valent wine since we're associating this with okay so now we have all that we're going to go ahead and click in the gray area and highlight everything and we are going to click to group and that way we have everything going in the right direction. Okay. So now you have the front of your card and the back of your card on the first slide. And then you have the um, inside of your card here on the second slide. Okay. So at this point, we are ready to print this out and, um, you know, cut it out and put it together. So I'm going to show you how to do that. But what I wanted to show you is that when I said don't worry about the colors, guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to now copy both of these slides. So I, I'm going to click one. I'm going to hit shift on my keyboard and click the second slide. That's going to highlight them both. And then I'm going to right click and say duplicate slide. Now it gives me duplicates. 
So what you can do, guys, is you can now change this up, the colors, without having to start all over. Now, you don't want to just click the image and come over here and do color, okay? So what you want to do is you want to make sure that you have the bottle selected, okay? I have the bottle selected. I'm going to go over to the format picture, and I'm going to select this last option, which is picture. And then I'm going to choose picture color and recolor. So I want to recolor that bottle. I'm going to go now with blue. I think that's kind of a blue accent. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? And you would do the same thing with your next one. We're going to go ahead and change that one to blue. Okay. And don't panic. All you have to do is click on your text, hit shift on your keyboard, click your image, click your text. Just keep clicking where you know you have something. And then what we're going to do is go up to our um, font area. We're going to choose the color here. And this is where we're going to select what color we want that. Okay. So I'm going to go with this um, kind of gold accent color. And I forgot the image you're going to have to do actually from the side. So we're going to go to the side and we're going to choose solid feel for our image. And we can go with that gold there for the image. And the same thing, I'm going to click on all of these little red things. I have my shift down on my keyboard. And I'm clicking all of the little red tabs. I'm going to go over here to our little bucket solid feel, and I'm going to choose that gold color. Okay. So you see how easy that was? You just designed another bottle, different color, and everything is in place. And all you have to do now is go down to the insert of the card. And again, you're going to highlight your bottle. Okay. So you do not want to do this. You don't want to just click on the entire group and then go over here because it's going to, you know, mess up your coloring. Let's just test it. So we got blue accent. Okay, it did work. Perfect. That was my first time trying it that way. All right. And then we can go in again. We can take our little cards. Going to highlight our cards. And we're going to come over to the color. And again, we're going to go to that eyedropper. And we're going to select that lighter color blue in the wine bottle. Okay. And then. I want to get it a little, see if we can get it a little bit lighter. Let's see. Hmm, I think that's as light as it's going to get. So we can go back over to the color and we can choose more colors. And let's see if we can find like a lighter color blue. I'm just selecting right here in the center. Okay, that's not going to work. I was on the wrong thing. Hold on. There we go. And now I'm going to go back to the color here, more color. And let's see if I can get a little bit lighter in that blue. Mm, there we go. All right, so now I have a little bit lighter in the blue family. And you want to make sure you change everything to gold because remember, we're working with the gold accents now. So we're going to click our image, come over to the format graphic. And we're going to select that gold. And we have our text that's actually in gold. But I'm going to leave the text in black because I don't really think that gold will show up really nicely on that. And we want to get the tops. Don't forget to do your tops where you have the... Um, little red colors, click on each one of your tops, come over to your format shape, solid feel, and choose your blue. I mean your gold, I'm sorry, your gold accent. Okay, so now you have another a card that's a different color. Okay. All right, so I'm going, going to end the, um, wait a minute. One thing I do want to show you is to make sure, guys, 
that you do file and save. Save it somewhere on your computer because you don't want to have to start this all over. And I'm just going to say wine bottle for V Day and save. That way you have it saved and you can use it the next time. I've now shown you how you can go in and recolor your bottle and graphics and everything. So now we have two bottles, two wine bottles, two different colors. Um, if you want to change the graphics, you can do that as well. So if I wanted to change this graphic, I would click the graphic and say change picture. And if I can see here, change graphic. And I'm going to say from a file. And then I'm going to look at my downloads and see what I see here. Let's see what this mail SVG looks like. I don't know what it is, but we're about to find out. Oh, that's my one with everything. Let's do this. I'm going to bring this over and I'm going to go to picture format. I'm going to crop this out. And uh, let's see. Let's take this one. Do, 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 do. All I'm doing is cropping out. I only want this one. We're going to bring him over, resize him, and I'm going to go back to the color. Uh, da, 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 da. Nope. All right, so this one is not a good one. Hold on. Hold on one second. Pardon that phone call. the same thing I thought I had one that I had downloaded that was um just one image which was this one All right, so I thought I had one that was a male uh, one, but I don't. And I don't want to make this super long, so let me find another one. Let's see. So these are the lips that I used. And I will link this seller from Etsy down in the description. So that's like the lips, the male kissing the woman there. So you could do that. But if you change that graphic, don't forget to change the graphic on the back. Okay. So I'm going to say change graphic from file. And I'm going to select that. And so now you see it's changed that. And let's don't forget to color because we were using the goal there. Let me see what the text will look like in gold. It may not look bad. Let's just see, since we're trying to keep up with the color scheme. Okay, that's not too bad. All right, so there you have it, guys. I'm going to end the, um, oh, let me show you this for those that are watching this for the first time. You want to select file. Don't forget to save because we added some extra stuff in there. But when you get to get ready to print this, you're going to go file, and I'm using a front loader loaded loading printer. So that's the instructions I'm giving from is a front loading printer. <coughs> All right, so you're going to click print, file print, and you want to make sure that your settings say current slide. You only want to print one slide at a time because we're going to print the first slide. After that prints out, we're going to, you know, do all of our settings on the first one. So I'm using my HP OfficeJet Pro 7740. So I'm going to select my printer, OfficeJet 7740. I'm going to go to Print Properties. 
and I'm going to select paper quality, letter, main tray, other inkjet paper. I want the best quality and I will click on OK and then all I have to do is print. Now, after I print this out, I'm going to come back and I'm going to click on the second slide and all I have to do is say file, print, and print because you will have already set up everything that it's only going to print the current slide that you're on. But make sure that you are on the slide that you want to print, okay? Make sure you're on the slide that you want to print. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to stop here, and then I'm going to bring, I'm going to print this out, and then I'm going to bring it up so that we can cut this card out together. All right, see you in a minute. All right, guys, here we are at my HP OfficeJet Pro 7740. I have two paper trays, kind of like with the 7720. So I'm going to be using the main paper tray. So this is where if you have more than one um, tray, you want to make sure that you select the appropriate printer. If you have more than one printer, you want to make sure you select the appropriate tray. For me, it's going to be the main tray. And you only want to start out with one piece of paper. So I'm going to go ahead and put my paper in. I'm using pen and gear for this project. So this is the photo card stock, um, the mat. It is 110 um, pounds. So that is what I'm using. Okay, so I'm just gonna put one sheet in, close that up. And this is where you wanna make sure you select print current slide. You wanna be on that first slide and you wanna be on print current slide and make sure you select the appropriate printer, the appropriate tray, and I select best for quality, and then I click on print. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get this started to print here. All right, so we have it printing out. <clears throat> so you wanna make sure you are on the slide that you want print it out. <coughs> and I selected the blue one, the dark blue one for this one. And I changed my graphic. So this is the image here, looks really nice. I did the male and the female line art. I will link the seller on Etsy in the description. So I have the male and the female on this one, but everything else is the same. And so what you're gonna do at this point, you're gonna reopen and you're going to place the top of the bottle towards you. The top of the bottle towards me, the bottom of the bottle, facing that way towards the inside of the printer. So I'm just gonna put this back in just like that. Okay, so the top of the bottle should be closest to you. I'm gonna go ahead and close that up and I'm gonna go back and click on the second slide and click on print. I don't have to change the settings because we already did the settings with the first bottle. So hold on, I'm gonna hit print. All right, now we're printing out the inside of the card. So you saw the front and the back now we're printing out both insides, the left and the right side. And I apologize, my printers are really heavy. And this table is like, you got two of them big printers on top of me. <laughs> so it always like goes like that when it's printing. But it's holding so far. All right, here we come. It always takes longer when you have it on best print. Yeah, I probably would have stuck with the, I probably should have stuck with the black writing. I mean, you can still see it. I did go with the gold, the gold writing to kind of keep everything matching, um, but that's the inside so now we have that and then we have this so I'm going to show you how to fold it 
So give me one moment. All right, guys, here we are. We now have our printed image. We have the front side, the back side, and then we have the inside. Again, I probably would, if you're going to do this one, and uh, I probably would do the black on the inside or change the color of the card so that that um, inside shows up better, okay? So <clears throat> I would highly recommend that you let it sit for about five minutes just so the ink is dry so that, you know, you don't have to worry about any smearing. You can see that my a little bit of ink got up at the top but we're not going to be using that anyway so we're going to cut that away but just to be on the safe side so you're going to take and fold your um, card in half and what that should do is put your bottles to where they line up in the center okay so we have the front side back side and when they open it, they're going to have the inside. Now, you can gift it like this if you so choose. But I'm going to go in and I'm going to cut mine out. Now, normally, I would fold it in half and then do the cut that way. But you do have a little bit of overage sometimes. So what I like to do is just go in and take my time and just cut um, this side with both sides folded together. Cut that out. And then I tidy up any white that's kind of like a little bit offset because we are, you know, the bottles are not the same size when you flip them upside down. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start cutting. And all I just say, guys, is just take your time. Okay, just take your time when you do this, because if you invested this much time to design this card, you want it to be or to look nice. Okay, so just kind of take your time and cut, cut, cut. You know, put on some music, you know, print out all your cards, however many you're going to do. Print them all out, get them all printed, put some music on, and, you know, just mellow out and cut. And I try to get it as close to the bottle as possible. I do not want any white. It is okay if you have some white. Everybody knows it's not a real bottle, that it's just a greeting card. So it is totally okay if you have some white. I, on the other hand, I don't want any white. So it's gonna take me just a little time here to get it all caught, uh, cut out, but isn't that looking nice so far? Okay. All right, so we're gonna now go up to the top. And like I said, I fold in half and start cutting and then I go and open it up on the inside and I start getting whatever white shows in there because the bottles are not going to line up exactly and that's because we had to shift them upside down so they're not truly the same size you know like when we do our just storm a uh, standard greeting card it's like you print one and the bottles are right side up and then you print the other one and the bottles are upside down okay so i'm going to turn it on the back now so that's what it's going to look like when you cut it out and if you use this bottle keep in mind it's not going to stand straight it's going to be like leaning just a little bit only because of the curve of the bottom of the bottle okay but it will stand on its own as you can see here it will stand on its own but it is going to be you know because of that curve on the on the back I don't know why my light always cut out there we go so you can see that my light is tripping so I'm gonna hold it while I do it there we go okay you know when one light fails just use the other one don't even worry about it. Just you use the other one. All right. So there we have it. There is the um, there's the top of the card or the entire card, okay. And then when you open it up, you're gonna have a little bit of off, a little bit of white, um, because like I said, they're not gonna mesh up completely because you're flipping the cards upside down, you know. So. It's okay to go in and tidy up that inside. It's still going to look nicely. Or it's still going to look nice. So I go in and I get any white.
from the inside. Like I said, everybody knows this is a card, so, you know. A couple of things I want to remind you if you try to do this is any of the shapes that you're working with, make sure that you remove the line. You don't want the line going around the shape because it will show up um, on your card. See how... <coughs> Excuse me, see how nice that's coming along? Only thing I would have done differently is, number one, I would have made sure I took that line off my top because I see a little bit of blue around my top and I wouldn't want that. Um, and then second is I would have used black on the inside for the text, okay? The text color. All right, so I'm going to do the little bit of tidy up here on the inside again. And guys, this does not take long at all. Get you a nice little pair of scissors. I'm using my Cricut scissors and cutting this out. <clears throat> so, like I said, <clears throat> just take your time. Print out a couple of them if you're making multiples. Print out a couple of them. Get them all printed out and then start cutting. Listen to some nice music. Maybe sip on a glass of wine while you're doing it. Well, maybe not, because then cuts may not be so straight. So, nix, nix the part about a sip a glass of wine. Unless you can handle it. I'm a lightweight, so I probably would get tipsy. And these things probably would be jacked up. Alright, so that's what it's going to look like. And then I'm just going to clean up here a little bit on the back side. Just a little bit right here on the bottom. it on the bottom on the side but it's still gonna look nice still gonna look nice if you take your time so there we now have the completed bottle sensual seduction and this time I put devour me on the side you can put sip slowly any little cute phrases guys and look how nice that is Gotta go that little white right there. Let's wine in 69 on the back. And then when you open it up, you got whatever you put on that side. And then they have this side if they want to write something personal. And like I said, it is a curved card on the bottom. So it is going to be kind of slanted. But it looks really nice. I really like it. And just like I did it, you can do it too. So that's why I gave you all of the instructions from the very beginning of opening up Microsoft PowerPoint all the way to the printer and now putting it together. All right. All right, guys. So I just want to say if you're currently subscribed to my YouTube channel, thank you guys so much for supporting me via YouTube. Um, always, if you learn anything in any of my tutorials, please comment. I love reading your comments. Um, like, share my tutorials with other people. The more the merrier is the way I look at it. Always hit that bell notification so you can be made aware anytime I upload tutorials to um, YouTube. And um, if you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel and you like my method of teaching, then please um, also like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And as well, hit that bell notification um, so that you can be made aware anytime I upload tutorials to YouTube. Um, the other thing is I have a Facebook group called Ken Doris's Cricket and Creative Crafters. If you would like to join us, it is a private group. All you have to do is send me a Facebook group request to Ken Doris's Cricket and Creative Crafters, and we'll get you at it. And for those that are currently following me on Facebook, thank you guys so much for your support. Don't forget to click those links in the group, in the Facebook group, so that you can, it'll bring you over to the YouTube, so you can see all of the tutorials directly there in YouTube, Okay. All right, guys, that's my story. I'm sticking to it. I hope this helps. And I'd like to see, if you're in my group, I would like to see some of your cards if you decide to do this, okay? Post some of those cards in the group for us and let us see how creative you can you can get. You can mock exactly what I'm doing, but then once you are you get your wings and you got it down, get a little creative and let me see what you do differently, okay? All right, guys, that's my story. I'm sticking to it. And you know my motto is each one reach one so that each one can teach one. And you guys have a great day. Bye.